Hello everybody, my name is Luke Mar and this is Hot Love Mode and today on Hot Love Mode we are coming to you with a closet tour reaction from none other than Mel in Melbourne. Very excited about this one, it's big, it's thick, it's juicy, it's 40 minutes long. That's what I like to see, you know what I mean? Like I like a director's cut when it comes to a closet tour. I don't like these skimpy 8 minute long, I don't want to see 8 minutes. I want to see 8 hours of footage, okay? I don't know that much about Mel in Melbourne. I tried to find some info, couldn't find much. I'm just excited to see where this experience goes. Okay, big closet, Louis Vuitton boxes everywhere, or maybe those are Hermes. The colors of the LV boxes and the Hermes boxes are kind of similar now, so. This is from two years ago though, so in the background I'm seeing a lot of Birkin, I see a Hermes bag, I see a little LV, a Dior, another Dior, some Chanel, you know, there's a lot going on here. A little mini Speedy in the monogram for the LV, lots of clothes, lots of wallets, lots of bags, Gucci, a little slow pan, a little Chanel card holder, a little Dior, oh Chloe shoe a Louboutin, an Hermes sandal, a Gucci mule, or a loaf. Okay, all right, Mel. All right, give me a sec, I'm looking. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Oh, look at all the Hermes. Oh my gosh. Some Gucci, a little Marmont, a little Gucci flora. Hello my loves, so today's Hi, video Mel. is going to be super super exciting, it is my closet tour. So I'm going to be showing you bags, shoes, my clothes. Let's start off with the best thing first, bags. Okay. So this is I love a my clothes, bag but display okay. for now. A little Burkina Faso over there in the back. We have a little Constance, a little mini one in the front, looks like a Kelly one that's kind of bright pink looks like an epi leather louis vuitton bag in that purple in the back there gucci marmot bag as we said in that purple velvet you have some gucci bamboo handle bags chanel bags you have the boyfriend bag which has that sort of chevron motif and i just putting that together is that like maybe a reference to tweed possibly just thought of that myself i have a lady dior bag it has the canage motif quilted in there in reference to the different sort of cane bamboo chairs that sit outside of a lot of french bistros regular chanel bags i think that's another kelly in the back behind that gucci bag and the Yves Saint Laurent bag another canage quilted dior bag and antigone bag because i call it the antigone but it's really not i'm pretty positive it's named after antigone it was a play by sophocles it's thinian so it's greek ricardo tishi you know how they love a Greco-Roman experience. More boy bags, another I believe, Kelly. There's a lot. A lot of my Hermes boxes, not all of them. Up here just for display. Hermes, not LV. Orange is such a happy color and I've just kind of done it sort of by color order. I can As tell. you can see, these are sort of like the pinks and reds. This is my mm -hmm. black shelf. And then down here, I've got greens, blues, creams, grays. The far left, we have a green Burke and I presume that blue one is a Kelly. The Chanel bag, it's quilted. It sort of has like a little top zip. The blue one in the front, I thought it was Chanel, but I'm pretty positive that that is Valentino. That white bag is an Hermes Evelyn bag and it was used for horse grooming tools and became sort of a modern handbag. Bottom shelf, I've Birkin, got like the neutral Kelly, colors, like tans, beige, Gucci, just, bamboo, you know, down the LV. There. And if you look here, see my boy, Boy, now not boyfriend. I always called a boyfriend, but it's a boy. I've sort of protected the handles. I actually use seatbelt covers. I, I like this because she's actually like explaining things, and, and I love when people really give their like little helpful here, hints and, and tips. And this chain is not denting the bag. That happens. I actually have a Valentino bag, and like the studs kind of like sat on top of the leather, and it's like an indentation. So that's actually very smart. And see Hermes. Look at my charm there. This is my new. Constance in Rose Sakura. This is my beautiful bag that my mother-in-law passed down to me. I really like that little epi leather. Yeah, this is my latest um, bag from Chanel, which is the reissue in size mini. It is gorgeous and classic and stunning. It's my black Birkin with the gold hardware. The oh, I'd be like chucking that shit everywhere. If I had one, you know what it is about the Birkins? I just, I couldn't really be asked to like wait for somebody to tell me I could buy it. You know what I mean? Like, I was in Soho the other day. And if I see a line, for some reason, you have to wait on the line in order to go shop in this store. Why? Like, I get why, but like, no. I don't want to do that. That's dumb and annoying, and I hate that. So I'm, I'm really not a big, big fan of people telling me to wait. And especially if I had, like, 
$20,000 to spend in a bag, I'll just buy it secondhand online. This is the my Cult Gaia oh, box clutch. Interesting, and I did I not know that. that. It looks like green marble. Yeah. Birkin, which started the whole craze. Uh, this is my myth. The green is nice, and I like the navy blue one too. So we go to this section here. I've just got oh. a few more other bags here. I've got my Sen Rev bags. Gucci, I've Fendi. I've Some more bags at the back. Oh, she knows the names. My Gucci. And these are just my seven RP inserts because I have extras. Okay. We go to this bottom shelf here. Uh, I can't remember where I got it from, but if I find it... I just have to say about the vintage Chanel jewelry. I'm not sure if all of it is, but costume jewelry, Chanel kind of like goes hand in hand. It's one of the brands that, or I think it is the brand that sort of brought forth costume jewelry in a sort of fashion context. I think Yves Saint Laurent later you know, helped to repopularize it, but there's that sort of fine jewelry element of people spending 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus and plus 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 on jewelry but then there's also costume jewelry for the most part fashion brands i wouldn't buy costume jewelry from no offense it's very expensive and i don't think that it's the most well made but i do know that with chanel it has a sort of history a little bit of loewe but it never hurts anybody oh that's a ferragamo one in the back gotcha mal i see you okay thank you for the lovely montage gorgeous beautiful stunning this bag here. This was like mm. my first Gucci hobo bag, like from 15 years ago. But I don't want to get rid of them. I still love them. I get and that. This was just something from my mother in law, which I very much appreciate. You won't show it on camera, but I appreciate it. Here. I get it. So this is where I hang all my okay. jackets. One of my favorite jackets is this mm. Gucci jacket here. Which Very I 60s, 70s. I actually kind of love that jacket. If you don't know, the red and the blue stripe came about in the 1970s. It just has a very sort of 1960s feel to it. It's in that beautiful sort of wool with the utilitarian sort of pockets. A little bit Chanel, but mixed with that sort of futuristic 1960s feeling of a courage, like a little bit Hubert de Givenchy, a little bit Guy La Roche, a little bit Yves Saint Laurent. Just that sort of 1960s clean feeling, but done in the Italian way. I know that this is new Gucci, it's like, but... Oh, it's just so classic. It's I cute. Love it. Some of the, my more casual jackets, bomber jackets, denim jackets, and there and then down here oh. are my sort of tweed jackets. A lot of them are just from Zara. Okay. And Mel. this is something I bought from an op shop, which is just like a faux fur. This is from my mother-in-law. And just some of my cat, more casual sort of shirts. Flannel. And a couple of my suits. Mel. But yeah, just, Thought we were better than this. Sort of like Her Christian girl autumn is showing. Here I've also got some of my classic okay. Chanel beauties. To each and... their own. Chanel pearl bag, I feel like we're here. Let's just discuss it. Coco Chanel loved the big long string of pearls so i'm sure that that's kind of why that bag looks like that i store my twillies in these boxes oh, for now which i just got from howard storage i believe but you can pick these up you know you pick your little heart. scarf to tie around uh, a handle this is another uh thrift store find which i, I love that i do like the fact that she does and little thrifting i've got my long sleeve dresses here I love floral dresses, no surprise. My Zimmerman. Oh, dress, love a Zimmerman. Which I really love. The thing about the Australians is they love an Australian brand. Zimmerman is an Australian brand. Ellery is another Australian brand. Dion Lee is an Australian brand, as in like their founders and designers are from Australia. And then they've kind of gone over to New York, Paris, Milan, London. I think Zimmerman, Dion Lee show in New York. Ellery, I know, was showing in Paris for a time. So those Australian brands are, are, are pretty beloved, I believe, back in their home country. It's an Alice McCall top and... Um, I think I've heard of Alice so McCall. Oh, look too. at that fringe. And I just have It's kind of a bit curtainy in there. This is what I wore to Hawaii. Uh, these are my four Hermes scarves I made into a dress. I've just kind of left it. Okay, Mel, that was a choice. And I don't know if it was a great one. I respect turning things into other things, but pair it with the skirt. It wouldn't be me. I respect the creativity. But yeah, I'm trying to find um, a solution for storing my Hermes scarves. I have a solution. Don't turn them into dresses, please. This already came with the built-in closet. Is just some... Okay, like, Gucci, shoes. Louboutins. My Christian Louboutins. This is a super special piece. I have not worn this. No, it's not this one. 
now. This is actually specifically oh, signed Monsieur by Louboutin. Monsieur Louboutin himself. Christian. Does he not sign both of them? I'd have him sign two Mel on one, and then Monsieur Louboutin on the other. That would be me, because it's like otherwise it's gonna be like I don't know if I believe that. I like it on both. Girls, Symmetry, um, big on it. More Louboutins, like Gucci sandals. So comfortable. If you haven't tried these, you need need to. I love them. Gucci marmots. I can walk all day in them. Mm. And then here okay. on the bottom are just sort of like my wedges. The Hermes ones, um, Chloe. And yeah, I have a mixture of brands. I'm Chloe. Where's this one? Baba Bui. Okay. Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah. Guys, Mel, that's my one big thing. Laurent. Drop the tea. The tea is dropped. It's not that hard. I promise you. Mel is, she's dropping shmoneys over in the YSL store. So Yves Saint Laurent. You don't even have to do the home. Oh, you just do Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, it's Yves Saint Laurent. 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 I promise, it's not that hard. I keep my designer boxes, the bigger ones, on the top shelf. Okay, the little Christian Dior book tote. Maria Grazia always finds a way in, doesn't she? And then on the other side... I still think it's a good bag. Is, that's my Loewe Fendi Dior. Mm -hmm. That's another special design by Christian Louboutin. It says, don't touch Melinda's bag. I had no idea what he was doing. <laughs> I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. It's very special. And That's then, cute though. I respect that. This is another section that I tend to store my clutches and my SLGs. Small leather goods, I SLG. These dividers, but if I find them, I, I think the dividers are cute. And I just have my, this is one of my absolute faves. I've had this for ages. My A little clutchy clutch. clutch. I picked that up in an auction for like, Hmm. The oblique dollars. monogram. That was probably when Dior monogram wasn't as popular. Like it, it obviously came into fruition with Mark Bowen in what the late sixties, early seventies. And then for a while, I think it was probably a little bit, a little bit out of style. But then John Galliano brought it back, and then I think again it went out of style. And then Marie Grazia resurfaced it, and from there it just sort of gained traction. So I could see that making sense. So yeah, this one, I actually bought this pre-loved as well. This is a Ferragamo. Mm. Forgot about this, um, that I had this Ferragamo and this is in Python. Well, all along the top own. here are just like my clutches. In here is my Hermes. I also will say though, I, you know, on the conversation of like animal skins and things like that, that's where a lot of these brands, Prada, Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, a lot of those brands do have history in utilizing exotic animal skins as product. I get people don't like it, but it has a provenance for certain brands. Jiggy clutch. Oh yeah, get jiggy with it. Self. The saddle bag. Just epi leather on the right. Loving epi leather. This oh, Proenza bag, love I it. Lied. Is not super, super a epi leather at all. It's Proenza, shout out Proenza. To each their own. LV bag, I love this bag as well. Mm -hmm. The yeah, different Gucci. monograms. Had this one for years before they reissued it. Okay. Dior saddle bag, another yeah. one I bought vintage. Oh, love that. And then check this out. This is my SLG display. Okay. These are so old. Okay. Like oh yeah, that looks old. Like that looks very but vintage. I love this so much. I think it's like 15 years old. Mini pochette, you know, that's my fave mm -hmm. SLG. I did not know that, but now uh, I do. Yeah. Go down to this shelf here. You can see my Speedy 25. Mm -hmm. A little mini little baby Speedy. Speedy. Then the Alma BB. The so Alma, you know, designed well. for Coco Chanel originally and then turned into a big LV bag. Matisse. She really knows the names of my everything. Boots. This Thigh highs like were so short. big, and so beloved. And then if we move on, this is the Okay, the Valentino Rock stud. She's back. Valentino okay. Rock Stars, I'm a huge fan. The Chanel Two Tones. Chanel Sling Bags. Oh, yeah, drills. Drills. My Those absolute are, Honestly, I think the mules are kind of cute. I love the Chanel pumps. I would I wear these ones the most, and if I see them again, mm. I would definitely repurchase them. So this is a lot of my Chanel collection, some of my Chanel okay. strappy heels. This is Chanel. That's this what I thought. A pair of Gucci. Hermes jelly oh, the camellia thong sandals. Uh, sandals there. To each their own. So this section here is all dedicated to dresses. So I always like different colored slips. Okay, Skims fan, I'm sure. This was something I picked up from a, Love a toile de vintage jouer. store, and it reminds me of the Dior Toile de Jouer. Me and Mal, we're on the same page here. And I always liked the Toile de Jouer. I really like it, I've had that for years. 
But here you can see that I've got my Balmain jackets, oh. which I love. That is like a staple on luxury fashion, luxury handbag, social media accounts. Like the girls all have their Balmain jackets. They do not go anywhere without a Balmain jacket. They're always like, oh, Balmain jacket, iconic, beautiful, wonderful. I'm sure that that is one of the great reasons that Balmain, from my understanding, does quite well financially. Shout out to Olivier, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, definitely we'll add another one. Also got the Dior classic bar jacket. Okay. This is very just simple. Iconic. Very, very gracia. The most famous Chanel little I like the jacket. jacket. I like so a Chanel jacket. I, they, I do. Paris and Rome. That was collection. the one where they went to Roma. I think that was for, that was pre-fall. I'm not sure. But the collection, the video, you know, they're all looking like they're walking around Rome. It was when Carl Lagerfeld was still alive. RIP. This is something that I'll be able to wear, you know, till I'm 70. You don't know what you have until you lose it. And I probably haven't shown you my Chanel jackets. I don't have that many, but I do have this one, which I picked up. It's a vintage piece. Love that. And this is another. I like the cream with the, the four pocket. Beautiful. This is from Saint Laurent, and I love all the different sort of. Eddie Simone is living his best me, best I life. It. I would wear it with like a chul skirt or something to make it a bit okay, more. Okay, Carrie Bradshaw vibes. And then I've got my Gucci bomber. My I, I picked this up from eBay. Okay. It was brand new. I got it for such a okay. bargain. Yeah, just so many pieces, guys. And this is my Christian Dior, oh, Mel. vintage Christian Dior. That's um, a hot girl piece. That's a little John Galliano, no? I think it's an early, early 2000s, like 2003, 2004, 2002 range. I can't find the exact collection, but. Find from eBay. Love that. Private seller as well. Love a private seller. This is another piece my mother-in-law passed down oh, to me. Oh, a little Marc Jacobs so action. Special. Yeah, so this is my Zimmerman skirt, which I absolutely mm, I actually kind of like that too. Look at the detail. Yeah, I love the motif, the, so the scalloping, actually, it's cute. Uh, worn it that much. I think I've only worn it once. My husband likes to call this my Ferrero Rocher skirt. <laughs> but it's just a bit cute. of fun. I love think that. I picked it up from H&M years ago. This is actually, I picked up from my trip to Korea. I just love it because it's got this it reminds me of the Prada collections now. Here, and I just think it looks a little, a little fall bit 2022 skirt, most, action. One of my most favorite skirts. But sans Sorry, embroidery and knits. Maybe Mrs. Prada watches these videos. I bought this mm. rack it's wow, she loves a Manolo. Now, a little Valentino, V logo, Hermes, Gucci. So a mixture of Dior, Valentino, Valentino Rossi. Yeah, Dior. Oh, look at these jeweled Manolo Blahnix. The hottest shoe of the mm -hmm. moment, the Amina Mwadi shoe. Amina Mwadi, shout out. We love. I haven't even worn these. I love the colors so much. <laughs> and I, they're so comfortable, but they are I cute, I have them. to say. I have not even worn these. These are my Alexander McQueen Maybe that's shoes. good. Look at this. R.I.P. to a ledge. But I ha have I worn it? No, I haven't even worn it, but... Those are scary looking. I want to keep them. That's the only pair of Alexander McQueen's I have, actually. Buy armadillo shoes. Don't buy those. You actually can get really cheap Alexander McQueen shoes on the real rail, in case you were looking. This Is this necklaces? Necklace wall. Says someone who never wears necklaces, but I would yeah, I remember when like big necklaces were a thing. Ago, I was a huge necklace person. So that is oh, it, guys. Mel, I thank hope you. you enjoyed my long-awaited closet did. tour. It's definitely the not the most glamorous wardrobe, but you know what, Mel? Don't be getting down on yourself there. So I want to say a huge shout out to Mel because she's very sweet. I don't know this woman in real life, but. She seems lovely. Let's talk about it though. It was okay, it was fine. It was big on bags, big on shoes, not super duper big on clothes. But I like that Mel was giving a lot of attention to detail. She was shouting out certain bags. She knew the name of everything. She you know, was telling people how to store certain things if that's what you're looking for. I appreciated that. I thought that was nice and sweet and very kind and considerate, so I appreciate it. Will they say that I love the closet? No, but like, you know, hey listen to each their own. There was a good range of clothing brands from like the Zimmermans and all of that sort of thing. And then we had a little bit of like a Balmain Chanel moment. Do I wish there were some more exciting moments? Sure, but I feel like that Dior lace up corsety sort of jacket is a good indication that good things could come to those who wait. So that is it. So please let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. And if you have any closet tours that you guys want me to react to in the future, put the links in the comments. I, I'll, I'll read them, I'll collect them. I'll. I'll react to them. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next one. So, T-T-Y-O.